Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today, glad you all are here with me on this Saturday. Lazy Saturday for me. How is it for you all today? Well, let's just get on into the story. We got Mrs. Lisa from Dubai. Lisa Milan. She's one of the cast members on Dubai. The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, Lord. I say Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. The Real Housewives of Dubai. Sorry about that. Okay. But what we're interested in is how these two women culturally met up with each other okay not what you think but it's still a good you know it's still a good scenario to be in because it's definitely blessing you financially for her to endorse guess what her maternity wear lisa milan fostered and put into fruition a maternity line which Beyonce, not knowing who she was, loved the outfits for the maternity wear. And she happens to buy one of Lisa Milan's name. I think it's Mina Rowe uh, accessories or dress line or clothing line. And she didn't know it. Her mom and other friends uh, saw Beyonce wearing it or something. And you know how they give you who was the designer, this, that, and the third as accessories and, and apparels well it was none other than Mina Rowe and that is Lisa Milan's maternity line that she brought into fruition and yes she was a, a pageant queen yes ma'am but let's get into some of her stuff and then I'll read what was really bought out but no let's do it backwards let's let you hear the clip that was being played about this whole uh, revelation of Beyonce patroning her wear. That's Miss Lisa Malone. Hi, honey. Oh, Getting ready for a fashion it. show. You look stunning. I brought the bellies. Yes, yes, yes. This yes. isn't a new handbag. It could be actually a new handbag. Why <laughs> not? Oh, yeah, it could be the new handbag. Nina Rowe. Ion's a pro at wearing these, yes, by the way. I've worn it so many really? times. I get her pregnant every season. I know. For like the past six years, five oh, years. Really? Yes. Okay. All my pregnancy pictures on Instagram, they're not mine. Because I never took pictures with Taj when I was no. pregnant. They're all Lisa because I'm very private sometimes. So oh, I'm excited. I can't wait. We've done so well in the maternity space. This is like our big reveal to the world that we're no longer just doing maternity. I'm, I'm excited. excited. I cannot wait to see all of it. So go get all the girls ready because yep. we have to start seeing them and you can send them in. Mina Rowe is known for providing the best maternity clothes. Like we're literally number one in the world. We decided to go into non-maternity because people don't get pregnant every few months. A lot of our repeat customers come every two years, which is not really sustainable for a brand. So the natural next step is non-maternity wear. This is my first fashion show. Ever. Ever. I would be so nervous. Yeah. I really am. It's a really, really big deal. And my husband's a CFO of Mina Row, okay. so we need to make sure that everything is perfect. When I brought this idea, to my husband to start Mina Row, he didn't really see the vision. When he invested in Mina Row, his words verbatim was, I'm investing in you. I believe in you. I don't really believe in this business. So for me, pulling this fashion show off, he'll see the vision. Everything will come full circle. So the first half of the show will be 
the new maternity collection. Okay. And then the second half will be the big reveal of the, the non maternity, the ready to wear. Which is wear. Amazing. Yeah. We're going to kill it though. I'm we really excited. I'm excited cool. for you to see the girls. Okay, perfect. Anita, we are ready for the models, please. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. We have our first five. We, you need to really pick the girls that you really want. Okay. Don't forget the super size ones too. We need more of them. Not super size. Plus size. Plus, Plus, size. Size. Plus size. This is not McDonald's, girl. Mm. Many, many big brands, they come to me to get models because I have a modeling agency. But Lisa is the first client that ever asked me for a plus size model. Super size is food. It's not humans. Uh, if you super size one more time. I, I know, I should be better, right? <laughs> but I'm getting better with English. Like now I know words like verbatim. The other day I went to the bank and I tell the guy, give me my money verbatim. Verbatim. In exactly the same words as were used originally. Yeah. Beautiful. Number one. Yes. Check you out. Yes. Perfect. This is Hami. I found her on the internet. Where on the internet? In the Instagram internet. On in the Instagram. Yes. She's from my country. Oh. Love it. Love, Love it. Love it. Yes. Girl. Yes, girl. Yes. Tens across the board. Yes. Oh my God, I'm obsessing Thank over you. your curve. Mm. Thank Beautiful. you very much. Thank you. When I first started my brand, Mina Row, we were looking for a diverse group of models. So from two different agencies, I booked Chanel and I booked Ion. Completely different photos. Yes, they look similar, but I just needed two black models. So I booked Chanel, I booked Ion, showed up to the photo shoot, only one black model show up. And I'm like, where the hell is the other girl? She's like, no, I'm Chanel Ion. So I ended up with one model that day and um, the rest is history. We love each other. She's my muse. Oh my god, this was really good. So good. I think I have too many checks. I have 21. Ah, I have 15. You should get 20. We're gonna okay. go through all the pictures after to pick. Yeah. Okay. So she needs 15 Otherwise, models, but I want her to get 20. Okay. Because I need to make money, girl. <laughs> oh, you're like convincing her. You're upselling her. Upselling, okay. upselling as always. Yeah. You, you know, sure you don't want to you know my husband. I know. <laughs> yeah, got it. Okay, so you got a chance to visualize Lisa Milan as well as hear her as well. But let's get into the article that is it Talia Agris wrote up for Bravo Style and Living. They titled it Beyonce has a major connection to the Real Housewives of Dubai. The singer's two, uh, 2017 baby shower featured an unforgettable fashion moment thanks to a cast member from the Real Housewives of Dubai. Okay, on the Real Housewives of Dubai, Lisa Milan has talked about building her fashion empire, a clothing brand called Mina Row that specializes in maternity wear. And we even got to see a runway show for the latest collection. We live, we live the moment in the video above. Recently, the business businesswoman opened up a or opened up to page six about a career milestone she'll never forget, involving none other than the Beyonce Carter Knowles. All right, remember that stunning white off the shoulder maxi dress Beyonce wore for her 2017 baby shower? That was Mina Rowe number and the moment signified a major career height highlight for lisa my phone started going off like crazy lisa recalled to page six i got messages from my mom and friends and i'm like what's going on she shared that's when people were like beyonce beyonce is wearing mina row by the way the uh, the 149 cotton spandex jasmine dress is still available so see you guys uh, Beyonce just don't wear, uh, what do you call it? She could have had that dress, which you will probably see. You already done saw, saw it when the video was playing. But she wore something just simple, and it probably felt real nice. Okay, because I've had soft clothing with the spandex material in it, and it's just like you sleeping in your underwear. Okay, or probably not sleeping in anything. It's very, very, very relaxed material. And it's, it foams, I guess, or foams or shape your body weight as well. But, honey, it's $149. Now, it could have been $1,491. Well, 
But as we see, Beyonce just likes fashion. She likes the feel of stuff. And she don't care if it's probably $5. She got it. So I ain't mad at Beyonce. She helps the little people or the... um. They're in entrepreneurs just starting out. If she likes it, if it's comfortable, in my book, she said, I can take it. Okay, and she, if it was $5, she probably said, let me give you 20 You know what I'm saying? Or 200 But uh, that was a milestone for Lisa when she figured out that, um, or she was told, I should say, that Beyonce is wearing her maternity apparel. And that's Lisa Milan, if y'all haven't caught up yet. But the people in the back... Okay, going back to the article, it says, of course, the notoriety translated to sales. The Mina Row website just crashed, she called. She recalled, I just chalked it up to the Beyonce effect. It was incredible. In fact, Beyonce has worn the label twice, but the celebrity client list doesn't stop there. Serena Williams, Khloe Kardashian, and Gigi Hadid have all sported Liza's or Lisa's designs. Lisa opened up about the inspiration behind her brand in the June 1st episode of Real Housewives of Dubai, saying the idea was born from a noticeable gap in the market. I was pregnant, I was young, and I couldn't find anything that was like fashionable and comfortable she explained now that uh now that her empire is growing and expanding she's so proud of what she's created as a black woman i feel it's so important because there are very few of us that are really successful and doing amazing things in this city okay so she pretty much chalked it up and um she had an interview with page six and of course you know bravo is going to highlight their women that are doing the darn thing okay and it's it's legal you get my drift <laughs> but anyway that was just a cute write-up i thought you all would definitely like to show beyonce's range when it comes to she's not all the time wearing like gucci uh dolce cabana uh what else, y'all? Well, we just gave y'all a holla. Cartier, I guess you could say. She can get down and dirty and go into Target or Walmart or any place she choose when she's out. And she be like, oh, I like this. I like this. And she'll buy it. Not knowing who the designer is. Not even really caring. It's just like it was cute. It looked good on the rack. When she put it on, it looked good on her. And she probably said, okay, I'll take about three or four of these and get some of those with on the side too all mean a row isn't that interesting isn't that like a wow factor but that is her husband whom she say she definitely um loved you know loved and he loved her enough to invest in something that he really felt was frugal or um or not really that important it's almost like he was appeasing her but whether it was appeasing her he gave her the money she invested it in herself and her dream and she um brought it out where hey beyonce noticed her so if anything he would be like oh beyonce got your clothing where well, now he she's bringing in some more local celebrities oh okay well maybe i missed this point thank you baby <laughs> and of course i'm sure the money that he gave her it translated back into her fund because he's a wealthy man as well uh, I'm assuming because most of the time black women are not marrying out of their race to be poor or struggling if you get my drift. But that's all I have for this particular article, this video, and I will see y'all next time. Bye bye.